the morning on Sunday the 6th of May 2013, Julian and some of his friends uh, who were enjoying a night out at Elements Nightclub on Mill Street in Bedford were asked to leave. Initially, they walked away, but then Julian, seemingly intent on requesting a refund, returned alone to the club. On returning to the venue, Julian was seized by security who immediately passed him over to several police officers present outside the nightclub. Much of what took place is caught on CCTV, but the crucial elements of what happened when the police officers took hold of Julian is not captured on CCTV. Witnesses saw Julian dragged unconscious across the road by officers in the direction of a police van. By this stage, his neck had been broken. He'd suffered a serious spinal injury and was unresponsive. Julian was lifted onto the police van and driven to Greyfriars Police Station. He remained unresponsive and an ambulance was called. <laughs> Julian suffered a severe brain injury due to a lack of oxygen reaching his brain and had a cardiac arrest. Initially, Julian was transferred to Bedford Hospital, but he was then transferred to a hospi hospital in Cambridge specializing in head injuries. Julian had suffered a spinal injury called a hangman's fracture. This kind of injury, as the name suggests, is associated with the sudden and violent pulling backwards of the head, usually when there's a counterforce against the body. Julian is now paralyzed and has brain damage. He is resident in a care home because he needs 24-hour nursing care. Julian's mom, Claudia, who couldn't be here today because she's at his side in hospital, said, my son Julian was a 19-year-old athlete studying sports science at the University of Bedfordshire on the 5th of May 2013. Following contact with police officers that night, he's been left paralyzed and in a vegetative state and he'll need 24-hour care for as long as he lives. Julian is still alive, but it cannot be said that he is really living. This year, Julian was supposed to be graduating from Bedfordshire University with a degree in sports science, but he never got a chance to do it. Julian had big dreams, big ambitions, but all of those are dashed. We miss him so much every single day. His family visit him every day. They make every birthday an occasion, and it took three years for the IPCC to finish their investigation, and finally, they recommended to the CPS misconduct in the case of all five officers for the manner that they carried out their duties and responsibilities. Gross misconduct in the case of four of the officers for honesty and integrity, and misconduct in the case of one officer for use of force. Let's do everything that we can to make sure that Julian's family gets justice. So please support Julian Cole's truth campaign uh, in, in any way that you can, locally and nationally, and the United Families and Friends campaign that Claudia has emphasized is the crucial space for all families to seek justice.